we've got a lot of thanks. First of all, thank you all for being here. I want to thank the drummers for such a great job. Thank you guys very much for honoring us. We appreciate it very much. Look, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's been a long old haul, and uh, we're down to five days left. No. Five days left in this election, okay? And uh, these are the most important five days we have, honestly. Uh, uh, it's critically important. We've, and we've had a long three days, to be quite frank, they run around the state of Montana. You know, things were going really, really well. And then we hit Poplar. And uh, things were good in Poplar. The problem is, is uh, Bullock's outfit broke down. And, uh, and he left his staff there and left. And uh, so I want to introduce Bullock's staff too. Jason Smith, thank you for being here. And uh, Johnny Malia, wherever you are back there, Johnny, raise your hand. It's good, good. These guys have been real troopers. But anyway, I, I would just tell you that uh, this has been a whole lot of fun because these people are great folks up here. Incredible, incredible public servants. And, and, and people that represent the state of Montana so very, very well. And somebody, and people who will, once we get them elected, um, do such a great job for the state of Montana. And I'm going to tell you what you already know. Uh, no one person wins a statewide election alone. It takes, um, it takes, a, it takes a team. It takes a team like the basketball team here. Uh, everybody working together. You're all part of this team. And if you're able to go out, and uh, so many of you have already voted, and so many of you will vote, but just make sure your neighbors vote and your relatives vote too. It's going to be critically important. Bullock said it correctly. The fact is, is that uh, none of these races are going to be uh, wide margins. They're all going to be very, very close. Very close. And a few votes are going to make the difference, so your vote's going to count. And if you're willing to go out and... Uh, and not only cast your vote, but get the folks around you to cast their vote too. That really improves our chances for winning. I got a call, this race has been going on for my race in particular a couple of years. And I got a call from a person outside of Montana because there's a lot of folks looking at it. And they said, um, John, are you gonna win? And I said, well, I think so. Yeah, and he said, what, uh, what can I do to help? And I said, at this point in time, it's in the hands of the voters of Montana. And if our people get out and vote, I will win and everybody else here will win. If our people don't vote like what happened in 2010, it's gonna be a different story. So I would just say thank you guys, um, but know one thing. Um, once, once election day comes in five days, we are gonna be able to have a great celebration because as the young people at this college uh, are working to make this college and their lives a better place, so are we. And if we're not in office, we can't help. We can't listen. We can't do things like address Indian health care. We can't, we can't do things like address poverty in Indian country. We can't do things like get a Cobell settlement passed. The bottom line is, that's worth an applause, especially. Because you need people who will listen and people who will act on that. And I can tell you unequivocally, these folks will do it and I will do it. So with that, I just want to say thank you for your time. Thanks for being here. And, um, and just thanks for all your good work. And a special thanks to the students. Um, I address a lot of students, about one group a week as a matter of fact, some in high school, some in college. And I can tell you that if you want to get something that'll pump you up, just get in front of about 10 or 30 uh, students, people under the age of 13, uh, under 30 I call them. <laughs> Those folks, they ask questions and there's no political agenda behind them. They just want to know what the hell is going on. And I'll tell you what, uh, I wish I could tell you my generation's done a great job of running this show. I'll be damn glad when your generation gets after it. So thank you all very much.